In the previous video, we learned about the introduction of amides and its classification such as primary, secondary and tertiary amides. In this video, I am going to focus on the IUPC nomenclature of amides. Before going to IUPC nomenclature of amides, we will start with the common naming of these compounds. This is CS3C double bond OH. The common name of this compound is acetic acid. So let me write that. Acetic acid. And if you see the common name of this compound, this is CS3C double bond NH2. So here this OH is replaced by this NH2. So common name is acetamide. It means that this IC acid is replaced with this amide in common naming of these compounds. If you see the IUPC name of these both the compounds at that time I can write the numbering to these compounds. So this is 1 and 2. This is also carbon number 1 and carbon number 2. Here we have two carbons so this will become ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Here also we have two carbons. While giving the IUPC names to amides at that time we must write the prefix because we have two carbons so this will become eth. Then we have hydrocarbons therefore we must write a and E and we have amide functional group so we must write amide at the end of this compound. As this word start with A so we must drop this E so we need not write E in the final IUPC naming of this compound. So IUPC name for this compound will become so I will use this prefix as a eth, then we have a n, so this is ethan, and finally it will end up with amide. So it means that in case of the acids, OIC is replaced with this amide. So while giving the IUPC names to any amides at that time, we must replace OIC acid with amide. So let us take some examples of amides. Let us take some substituted examples. Let's say we have the structure like this. CH2, then we have CH. We have CS3 and here also we have CS3. Now let us start the numbering for this compound. So this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So when we are giving the IUPC names to this compound at that time we have total number of carbon atoms 4. So this will become but. So I will write here as a but. As this is alkane so I must write A and E. Now at position number 3 we have methyl substituent. So this is the substituent which is present at position number 3. So we must write 3 methyl. 3 methyl. And we have amide group that is C double bond O NH2. So we must write as a amide. And as we know that it end up with amide, so we must delete this E and the IUPC name of this compound will become butan amide. But we have methyl group at position number 3, so we must write 3 methyl, 3 methyl. Butan amide, butan amide. 
now let's take some another example in the another example we'll write substituent on nitrogen instead of writing the another chain like c double bond o n h c h 2 c s 3 c s 3 now here you can see that the total number of carbon atoms are 1 2 and 3 so we must write it as a probe as this is hydrocarbon so we must end up with a and e but here methyl group is present on nitrogen so we must write n methyl n methyl and it is amide so we should end up with amide and as we know that we are not going to write e so i will delete e so iupc name for this compound will become n methyl n methyl propan amide n methyl propan amide now we can take two substituents on nitrogen instead of writing the one and let's write the IUPC name for that compound C double bond O N and on nitrogen we have two methyl groups like that we have CH2 CH3 now let us give the numbering to these carbons so this is one carbon number two and carbon number three it means that we have prefix as a probe and it will end up with a n e as this is hydrocarbon and now we have n n dimethyl dimethyl because two methyl groups are present on this nitrogen we are writing the comma between this n and n because it is indicating the place of this methyl group on which it is substituted and it will end up with the amide so i must write here as amide so ipc name for this compound will become n n dimethyl dimethyl propan amide propan amide here also this e is deleted now let's take some interesting examples here we have c double bond o nh2 and here we have ch2 ch2 nh2 now while writing the iupc name for this compound at that time we must write the numbering to this carbon atom so this is 1 2 and 3 here we have prefix as a probe as this is the hydrocarbon so it will end up with a and e now here in this case we have amino substituent at carbon number 3 so this is amino substituent ns2 so i must write 3 amino 3 amino was ended with amide so we must write the amide therefore the iupc name for this compound will become Three amino, three amino, propan amide, three amino propan amide. Now let's take 
the example where two amide groups are present. So let's say if we have the substituent Now in this example you can see that we have two amide groups so we must write the numbering to this carbon atom so this will become 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is total number of carbon atoms are 5 so we must write it as a paint. As this is a hydrocarbon so it will end up with A and E. And as we know that this is diamide group, so I will write it as a diamide. And as we know that this amide is the terminal functional group, so no need to write the numbering to that particular carbon atoms. So when we are writing the IUPC name for such type of compounds, at that time we must write pentane. Pentane diamide. Here, this e is not close to A, that's why it will remain as it is. This is diamide because we have two amide groups. So, IPC name for this compound is pentane diamide. 